Hi, my crafty fam. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Last week, I showed you how I made the frame of the butterfly wings for my faux stained glass butterfly wine bottle art piece. If you haven't seen that yet, the link will be in the description box below. In today's video, I'll show you how I prepared the wings for the final step, along with prepping the bottle. Welcome back to DIY No Need to Cry with Ivelisse. Let's get started. Now that the clay has completely dried, I need to reinforce the wings. I'll be wrapping it in black electrical tape, but before doing this, I added some E6000 to connect the separated part of the wing for a little extra security. The best way to wrap it is to place the tape on a slant, being careful not to snap the clay. Continue wrapping it until the entire wing is covered. And to make sure the wings don't fall apart, I'm going to wrap it one more time with floral wire in between. I went all the way around, adding another piece of wire as needed. Perfect. I was going to use these sheet protectors I bought at the Dollar Tree to fill the inside of the wings, but I wanted something a little more sturdy and translucent. Instead, I'll be using these plastic scrapbook album refill sleeves that you can see through and are the perfect thickness. I cut the sleeve open. Lay the wing on top. Trace the outside of the wing with a sharpie. Yeah. 
and cut it out on the inside of the line. I placed the plastic on the table and lined the wing with E6000. I then placed it onto the plastic. Carefully flip it over to make sure it glued all the way around. And then I placed it back down on the table and added weight onto it, assuring it adheres properly. Let that dry overnight, and now it's time to prep the bottle. This bottle lamp kit is the one I'll be using. I have gone ahead and pre-drilled the hole, so all I have to do is assemble it. I'll leave links down below of detailed videos to both steps. Once it's all assembled, test it to make sure it works. The very last thing to do is to test the glass and puffy paint on the light bulb. I want to custom make mine, but they do sell faux stained glass light bulbs. All the info will be down in the description box below. And shout out to Jay from Alvarado Art for suggesting the light bulb as the head. It was brilliant. After I added a few colors and some puffy paint, I let it dry. I then screwed it into my lamp and waited 30 minutes to see if any of it would melt. It didn't seem to affect the paints. So I'm going to go for it. Please be careful if you try this and remember that I only tested mine for 30 minutes. That's it for part two. I'm super excited to finish this piece. And now that I have all the components assembled, all that's left is to paint it and put it all together. So turn on those notifications if you haven't yet so you don't miss when I post the grand reveal. Part three. I hope this video was helpful and that it inspired you in some way to make something of your own. Just as long as you remember to have fun, be creative, and make a mess. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to thumbs it up as it helps the growth of the channel and to show your support. If you're new to my channel, I hope you consider subscribing to get updates on future videos. And remember, do it yourself. There's no need to cry.